Hello everyone. Today I'll try to respond to some of the comments made by some audience in one of my videos, energy harvesting from radio waves. As radio transmitters send signal in all directions, in one particular direction, the receiving received energy is very small. Usually it ranges from few microwatts to few milliwatts. So this kind of small energy can drive a LED lamp or low power electronic devices, which consume few milliwatts to a couple of watts. So recently, one person claimed that he invented a car which can run on the captured energy uh, from radio waves. This is a classic example of perpetual motion machine, which is never possible. In this video, I'll try to explain how one can check the flaws in the vehicle. Or at least one can ask the uh, in inventor who claimed his invention uh, this kind of question. Actually, the car is running from a pre-charged battery uh, like any other electric vehicle does. And it has nothing to do with the energy captured from the radio waves. From lots of comments, what I get is a car is receiving RF power from an antenna or an antenna system. This power is amplified and the amplified power is driving the car, car motor. The question is, is that possible? I'll try to explain. To capture radio waves, an antenna or a system of antenna is needed. The received energy is then processed by a tuning and rectifier circuit to get DC power which can drive a load. The power received by this load can be measured by measuring the voltage across this load and current through this load. Let us see how an amplifier amplifies a small signal at the input. So a small power <clears throat> coming out of the antenna and tuning circuit. Let us consider this power to be one watt. A power amplifier is receiving this power as an input and amplifies it to thousand times. At the output, we are getting 1000 watt or one kilowatt, which is sufficient to drive a EV motor. A question is, how is this power amplification done? The answer is, this amplifier needs a power from external source. Every electronic amplifier has an efficiency. It cannot be 100% efficient. If an amplifier is 98% efficient, we can say this is a highly efficient amplifier. Let us consider this amplifier is 98% efficient. To deliver 1000 watt at the output and to cover 2% loss, the power supply needs to deliver 1019 uh, watt around 1020 watts. Inside a typical electric vehicle, we can see some essential sections a battery bank. Uh, battery charger, motor driver circuit, a motor to drive the wheels, and the battery bank is charged by AC mains. When the battery is fully charged, the car is unplugged and the stored energy from the battery runs the motor. As I understand from the comments, 
that the power delivery system of the car should be much like uh, this RF power received from the, from the antenna is fed into an amplifier. The amplified output is driving the motor. As I mentioned that the power RF power should not be more than one watt. So most of the power is coming from the battery. If you remove the entire RF power harvester and the amplifier, the power delivery would be more efficient. This power harvester and the amplifier are redundant and doing nothing. One can easily measure the power from the battery using a voltmeter and dynamometer. Similarly, one can easily measure the output power of the amplifier using another set of voltmeter and emitter and compare these two powers. Let us now calculate the contribution from the RF power for the, this kind of power delivery system of a car. Power obtained from the RF tuner is 1 watt and the out of 1000 watt of amplifier, amplifier power, 999 power watt power is coming from the battery itself. So the contribution of RF power is only 1%. And 99% power is coming from the uh, battery. If we consider 2% loss of energy in the amplifier, the overall system is wasting 2% power as a heat. Driving a standard car using RF power is nothing but a classic example of a perpetual motion machine. The overall system is receiving only 1 watt and giving us 1000 watt at the output means creation of energy, which violates the fundamental law of physics and not possible at all. 